everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. I have another quick and easy uh, craft for you. This is actually taking a nine by six um, envelope and turning it into a junk journal. For spring, you could make it any theme you want. But what we're gonna do first is take our envelope and we're gonna cut along this side and along this side. When you cut that, you've cut the bottom and the sides, and now you open it up, and you're going to have a nice journal. So what you can do is I'm going to fold this flap down. You can either leave it um, open, or you can shut it after, I mean, adhere it after you put the inside to your journal. But this is going to turn into a really nice little journal that you can add pages to and pockets and embellish how you like. So what we're gonna do first is, of course, this is going to be the cover. And I've taken a sheet from the Knitwit collection, Kindly Thoughts, as you can see. There are a lot of beautiful double-sided papers in here to choose from. I picked one and I cut it uh, a quarter of an inch smaller on the uh, uh, width and on the link. And this is going to be my front cover and back panel cover. So this is one sheet. Let me show you that is cut. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little vintage photo distressed oxide ink with my blending tool. And I'm just going to go around the edges to give this a little bit more of a vintage feel. I would also like to mention this is a great way to upcycle your large envelopes that you get in the mail that you would toss. So we're going to just take this uh, front cover piece with some glue. I'm going to make sure that this is even because I did give it that matte and layer a quarter of an inch, so it gives me an eighth an inch on each side. Okay, push it in just a little. All right, so we've got the cover basically done, but I want to um, go ahead and show you a neat closure that I saw on Pink Monarch Crafts. And I've got two pieces from this same 12 by 12 page that I'm gonna make into tags. So I'm going to use these two tags to go onto my journal and be my closure. So I need to take my twine. I'm going to take a good long bit because I'm not sure exactly how long I really want it to be. So I'm going to cut two strings that are about a foot long or so. And that's just regular white twine. I'm going to fold them in half. Take my loop, put it through, and then pull the tails through like this, about in the middle. So we're gonna not dec I'm not gonna decorate them or embellish them yet, but I did put glue here just so you know. And we're just gonna put this about right here and make sure that that twine is pulled to the side. All right, now I'm gonna open this up so that I can make sure I line this one up to be the same place. Now it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Of course, you're making this your world, so do it how you would like, right? And then this is gonna be my closure and I can tie it or make a bow or whatever I would like. Okay, I can also add some charms to it and however I would like to do that. And then I'm going to add another one just going this direction. Now these are from Dollar Tree, so you can find butterfly stickers at Dollar Tree all the time. I may end up adding one, a smaller one down here by the flowers. We'll see. But that's how to create your journal. Then you're gonna want to add to the inside of your journal and then also some pages that you can sew in. So let me know if you'd like for me to finish this journal with you and I'll be happy to. 
but I hope you enjoyed learning how to create the cover for a journal out of a six by nine envelope. Thanks for watching. Bye.